guys, ladies and gentlemen, the Apple 2018 launch event just ended. It was a pretty interesting event. Three new iPhones were launched. We're going to look at all three of those models, the price points. One of them came in at near $1,500 on the high end, guys. Unbelievable. A price point that's never been touched on an on a iPhone or any phone for that matter. So a huge price points on some of these. Um, they do have one model that I think is going to sell unbelievably well. We're going to talk about the specs of those. Also, they launched a new Apple Watch Series 4. We're going to look at that. I think that's a real interesting product. Uh, so let's just get into this, guys. I'm going to first start out with here. Here, the iPhone XR okay we're just gonna look at the price points of all these new products they launch and uh, when they're gonna be available then we'll go into the specs this product I start out with first because this is their more affordable iPhone model that I think is actually gonna be the top selling iPhone in their lineup okay I think this is gonna be the the one that sells like crazy comes in at $749 you can get in 64 gigs 128 or 256 and uh, when, when we'll look at the specs a little later when I look at the specs this phone I see a phone that's gonna sell really really well at that price point okay that one's not uh, available as far as pre-order goes till October 19th it will be available for uh, everybody to buy on October 26th so about about a month later than the highest end iPhone so as far as the the highest end iPhones they came out with they came out with the iPhone 10s okay this one starts at a thousand dollars so the same price point that the uh, original iPhone 10 started at but it's got better specs across the board we'll look at that this one you can get in 64 gigs 256 or 500 112 gigabytes of storage. Why you need that much storage in an iPhone is beyond me unless you take an incredible amount of video specifically because even photos you could take a ridiculous amount and still not clog up your storage. You would have to take a ridiculous amount of videos. Um, then they also launched an iPhone 10s Max which is a massive phone. A massive massive phone as far as the screen size. This is a one that starts at $1,099. Starts okay. This one's available at 64 gigs 256 and 512 those phones are available for pre-order on september 14 and are available for people to buy on september 21st so those ones you get about a month uh, before you can get the iphone 10r so as far as the iphone lineup is now you have the iphone 7 coming in at 449 starting iphone 8 starting at 599 they have that iphone 10r which is i think is going to be the top selling iphone starting at 749 they have the iphone 10s which starts at 999 and then they have the iPhone 10s Max starting at 1099 and as far as the specs on those those last two phones they're pretty much identical except for the screen is ridiculously massive on the iPhone uh, 10s Max there now they launched this new Apple watch okay this is the thing we'll, we'll kind of look at the specs at first it's called series 4 Apple watch this new Apple watch has a much larger edge-to-edge -edge screen giving the the biggest facelift since the launch in 2014 the screen is 30% larger than the previous Thank you.